And so, you know, I had it in my mind that I, I, I wanted to get something that, you know, was a little bit more performance oriented and, uh, you know, the result of, of basically what I've been doing for the last two years, you know, two and a quarter years, um, is manifesting itself into this bike right now. So, you know, you ride like no one else, ride old heavy dual sports and old trail bikes. And uh, when done right, you can ride like no one else. on everybody welcome back to the each adventure channel my name is Josh and today we're back out here on the beta the beta 390 RRS and today we're gonna do a little update video uh, and talk about some of the reasons why I got the beta I mean the theme of this video you know if, if you saw the title is uh, ride like no one else so you ride like no one else so the later you can ride like no one else. And what do I mean by that? Um, so if you've been with the channel for a while, you know, thank you. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Uh, you'll know that for the last couple of years, uh, me and my family have been working on a plan to, to get ourselves out of debt. Um, around April of 2018, I had this realization moment where I wrote everything down or basically looked up at some point at this mountain of debt that we had and realized that we had basically almost a hundred grand it was like 93 94 or something thousand dollars in debt and I to be honest like I, I freaked out I, I freaked out a little bit I freaked out a little bit I didn't know what to do because I had just gotten a new job like basically what I had been do doing up to that point is increasing my income uh, you know, as I've progressed throughout my career as a software developer. Uh, but I never felt like I was getting anywhere. Um, because I, t I had the same problem still at the, at the end of every month. I, t I, did, I looked around and I wondered where, you know, all of our money went. And, um, and it's not because we were, you know, liberally spending on, you know, certain types of items or going on vacation. It, it was actually the opposite of that. Uh, we just weren't keeping track of stuff and uh, we we're going out to eat a lot and you know just not really keeping track of, of where everything was going and uh, that on top of you know I, I had a, a student loan that you know to, was about half of that overall total you know that, that basically got shoved in my face after I was done with school and I you know never realized how big that thing was going to be and so that had just been lingering there for a couple of years and you know, with the balance not really doing anything other than staying the same. I'm going to summarize the story because I've talked about it before. You guys can check it out. I'll link that playlist up here in the cards this side. I don't know. But, um, you know, I've talked about it before. Basically, I was looking around trying to figure out how to get out of debt. And uh, I discovered Dave Ramsey. And, um, you know, it's basically been all downhill or all uphill, I guess, from there. You know, th that whole journey started with me selling... The CRF250L. So if you guys remember, I have the CRF and the TT250, and the TT250 I sold because I could get a really good deal on the DRZ, um, and so I did that. And then uh, that was that was before all that stuff started. And then as soon as that stuff started, you know, I had the CRF, and the CRF was paid off. So I was just like, well, why don't I sell this thing? And uh, you know, that way I could at least get a, a jump start on this whole debt situation. So. I sold it, and that's that's actually the last time I had two dual sport bikes. And so basically, I've been riding the DRZ, which is a fantastic machine, um, you know. But for a lot of the the types of rides that I do and the way I have it set up, it's it's a bit heavy. So uh, I knew I wanted to get something once all this stuff was over, and um, you know, this kind of pushed it back a little bit. But basically, by the time this video is released, uh, we'll be 100% debt free. So, and I'll, I'll make sure, because um, that's, that's the point of this video, getting the bike kind of pushed that a little bit back because I had a, a bit of a time frame that I had to uh, adhere to. Um, 
but because these things don't come up for sale all that often and I definitely wanted to take advantage of it so yeah so if you're, if you're watching this video right now uh, we are 100% debt free and I cannot tell you how different things are now than they were two years ago um, you know aside from being in California where everything's absurdly expensive which is another issue but uh you know, before I, I never really had like a, an outlook on you know my financial future. Like I didn't understand, you know, how it was I was gonna retire, or how I was you know gonna help my kids go to school, or you know how we we're ever gonna be able to uh, you know even consider buying a house. Like I had no idea about any of that stuff. And uh, I started listening to Dave Ramsey radio show, and. It, just, it flipped my whole financial world on its head. And uh, I cannot be more thankful for that. Um, so if you haven't listened to Dave Ramsey, you definitely go check it out. You know, it'll, it'll, it'll totally change your perspective on, uh, on how to handle money and, 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 you know, really, really consider how it is uh, you're going to, you know, go about purchasing things in the future. Because... Basically, from this point forward, you know, we're, we're not borrowing money for anything ever again, uh, except for our first home. And uh, that's a weird thing to say. <laughs> that's a weird thing to say when you turn on the TV and, you know, every other ads for, you know, financing for a new car or, you know, just all kinds of different things. For, you know, zero down at Best Buy, you know, 18 months, no interest, all that kind of stuff. That stuff sounds good on paper. But, uh, you know, the best thing that you can do is, is to completely avoid it. You know, like I said, I, I've been in this gazelle intense mode of, of not spending money. It was really hard for me to pull the trigger. I mentioned this on the, on the reveal video. Uh, it was really hard for me to pull the trigger on this and actually kind of delay that, satisfa that satisfaction, uh, you know, another month or so, another month or two. But, uh, oh man. This thing is totally worth it. And so Dave Ramsey's slogan is, when it comes to this stuff, is to live like no one else. Basically meaning to sacrifice and uh, get yourself out of debt so you can be in a position to win. So you live like no one else so that later you can live and give like nobody else. And so adapted to my channel, which, you know, I've been basically running on a shoestring budget. I started this channel with a GoPro that I already had for like three years at that point. Uh, and then I bought the Sony camera that I'm using right now with, uh, you know, with money that I, that I ended up making for the channel. Um, you know, and, and then basically that's about it. I haven't spent really any money on like bikes, upgrades, you know, other than like basic maintenance to uh, keep the bikes running. Um, you know, I haven't really spent hardly anything uh, up until this point. So it's just, it's a weird feeling to be in because going forward, um, you know, I think, I'm not going to say the content of the channel is going to change because I, that I still feel the same way as I did before. Like I'm super, super frugal. You know, I, I bought the bike used. I mean, I could have gone and bought it new if I wanted to, but, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to take that. I didn't want to take that depreciation hit. And, you know, I know the, I know the 2020s are a bit different than these, but to be honest, like, it's, it's totally fine. <laughs> I was planning on, I mean, the DRZ is a 2012, my TTR is a 20, a 2005, uh, my, my son's TTR 125 is a, is a 2002, I believe. So, you know, this is the first time I've kind of like spurged on something, um, but like I said, you know, I, I wanted it to fit the theme, and that theme is, you know, anybody can have adventures on dirt bikes, whether it is a beta like this or, you know, a, a Chinese TT250, kind of like what we started on, um, you know, or an old DRZ, you can find those super cheap, the TTR, the 230, that I abused the heck out of, that bike, it was, uh, that bike only cost me like $1,300 or something like that when I bought it, 1400 bucks. You know, it's definitely something I want to keep as a theme on this channel. Is that, you know, number one, 
if you make sacrifices and and work hard and plan um, if you really did want you know say you didn't want to go the DRZ route and you did want a beta or a KTM or a Husky uh, you know you could you can do that without going to the dealership and you know signing signing your life away for 12 13 grand and then uh, you know having that hang over your head for however many years there's definitely other ways to go about uh, getting into this this sport and it, yeah, I still plan on riding the DRZ I still plan on riding the TTR um, it's just I you know I also wanted something a little bit more performance oriented so you know when I do go out with my buddies that are a bit more performance oriented riders um, you know I, I have something that I'm not really gonna get super beat up on because uh, it ends up being a lot more than, than this most of the time and so that was one of the reasons number two um, I really would like to start doing, you know, maybe some like sprint enduro races or something or, you know, next year I really want to do the dual sport, the, the Big Bear dual sport ride and I want to do the hard route and I can't do that on the TT250 because, or the, the, the TTR230 because the suspension would just beat the heck out of me unless I do some serious modifications to it. Um, it's not street legal so I can't dual sport run it. And then the, D, the DRZ, I'm just, I think it's way too heavy for for some of those hard sections. And so, you know, I had it in my mind that I, I, I wanted to get something that, you know, was a little bit more performance oriented. And, uh, you know, the result of, of basically what I've been doing for the last two years, you know, two and a quarter years, um, is manifesting itself into this bike right now so you know you ride like no one else ride old heavy dual sports and old trail bikes and uh when done right you can ride like no one else and i'm riding this super sweet italian princess here this is cool and so there's there's more to the Dave Ramsey story if, if you're if you're curious about the plan I talk about it a little bit more in the first video what what the death snowball is all about so uh, definitely check that out but if um, like I said that that'll be in the link in the card but if you're more curious about that um, I am considering starting like a second channel that's more related to uh, personal finance and investing. And so if that's something you're interested in seeing, let me down. Let me know down below. I already have a name picked out. I just don't know if it's uh, something I want to pull the trigger on yet because I'm already fairly stretched for time as it is. And so one more <laughs> one more project is uh, is going to be hard to manage unless I make some fairly significant changes when it comes to my work. So uh, let me know down below. I think it'd be fun. Um, it's a topic that I'm very passionate about, just like I'm passionate about bikes. And so if I can do that and it'll help people, that's definitely something that I wanna consider doing. Anyways guys, I think that just about does it for now. Um, I'm about back to the road. And so I'm gonna go ahead and end this one right here and call it a motovlog. As always, thank you guys for riding along with me today. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a like down below. If you're new here, please subscribe. We like to do adventures like this on a weekly basis. Hopefully we'll keep doing it on a weekly basis. And uh, I'd love to have you guys along for the ride. You know, like I said, it's not going to be all betas all the time. We're still going to ride the other bikes. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. So like I said, now that, now that we're debt free, I can you know, invest a little bit more into the channel in hopes of uh, making better quality videos, um, hopefully doing some like drone shots, a little bit more cinematic type stuff. Bye. And so, yeah. Hopefully this is, <laughs> hopefully this will be a reawakening, a reawakening of the channel. So, even though I was never really asleep. I just haven't had a lot of time to focus on it. But anyways, guys, as always, please be sure to have fun, take care, and ride safe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, be sure to get out there and have adventures of your own. And I will see you guys next time. Later!
Thanks for watching the video. If you liked what you saw, please let me know down in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button. If you are new here, please subscribe to see more adventures just like this one. For information about my riding gear or the various ways you can help support the channel, please check out the links below or head over to www.eachadventure.com. I'll see you in the next one.